Hi everyone! Today I've got something exciting to show you. I just got this amazing PR box from Sigma and their new, new mod collection. This collection is launching on the 12th of April. I think this box is so beautiful. It has, the whole collection has very much, I feel, Chanel look about it. It looks like the box is quilted. I don't know if you can see it, the detail. But now look at this inside. Doesn't it have Chanel vibe? <laughs> it's really, really gorgeous. So here is the whole collection. What you get in here is the new mod eyeshadow palette, which will retail for $49. Again, beautiful velvet. It's not quilted, but it's made to look as if it's quilted. Although this probably is going to get very dirty, but it's so, so pretty. As usual, you get the double-ended brush with it. I will show you the swatches uh, later on. Then you get in here five brushes. You get the F47 Multitasker, which is for foundation, blush or contour. I've never seen this brush before. It's beautifully soft, really lovely. Look at the handles as well. They go from uh, pink into glittery gold. Then F10 powder blush brush, really nice and soft. Then E24 diffuser blend, I like E24. Then E49 small medium tapered blender and E65 small angled. Then you got lip gloss, which is called Passionette. And that will retail for $20. And you also get liquid lipstick, which is called New Mod, and that will retail for $20. And the last thing in this collection, in this beautiful velvety bag as well. If you want to get the whole collection, it will retail for $146, which is a value of $207. So now have a closer look at the palette and I did some swatches. So if you know me at all, you will know that I obviously am going to love this palette right up my street. Um, so I am going to do a look. I won't do like loads of looks with it. I will do separate videos, you know, maybe like five minutes I with it. But I just want to uh, see how they perform. And I just think it's such a beautiful palette. I was beside myself when I opened this palette. I really fancy this area here. I don't know, when I look at it, especially here in real life, it has this milk chocolate look about it. And I don't know, I'm just really tempted to do this. So I will take E24 and I will go into Sophisticated. This color looks so yummy. And I will apply my, oh wow, the pigmentation is really, really good. I love Sigma um, eyeshadows. I almost wish they came out with more and more often, but maybe it's more special when they don't do it that often. That actually translates a bit movie. So I think it will turn out that this whole palette has sort of a, a mauve vibe. I'm going 
going to apply it on my outer V as well. And I'm just going to keep building it up and blending it upwards. Polo P66, I am going to go into street style. Wow. Lovely, they blend so nicely. On my mobile lid, I could go with any of these with those shimmers. This one is more of a duochrome topper, and that's the avant garde. This one so that's more of a topper, but the rest are real shimmers oh there is a gold one as well oh that gold is really gold so possibilities are endless really with this palette but let's carry on i will blend out with the e38 that's the double-ended one from the palette I really like the E24, it always reminds me of MAC 217 or Rifa 01, I think, yeah, there is MAC 217 and there is Rifa 01. I like these brushes because if you go that way, you can, because it's pointed, you can really apply it in a crease, then you turn it and you can blend it out. So this is a really good brush. I think I am going to use a vintage now, with the other side of P66, and just apply it here. Oh wow, this is so pretty. Then I'm going to take hot, as in hot couture, on E54, the other side of that double-ended brush, and apply that in my inner corner. So these ones are not, um, your foiled eyeshadows they are straight up shimmers but let me just wet the brush and see if I get more payoff with that you know I like my shimmers yes you do not um, overly meta um, not overly foiled, but I don't think they meant to be foiled. Wow, really nice. I actually feel maybe I should add some of these in here. I am going to add Artsy, this sort of purple pink. Oh yes, that's pretty that gives you a bit of a pop. Mm -hmm. 
On my lower lash line, I'm going to go to street, street style with this angled brush to go closer to my lash line. I got a tiny bit of fallout, but nothing major. Reef at 12 and I'm going to go to the sophisticated that I put in my crease and I just will blend this out a bit with it. Yeah, so this is not milk chocolate at all. I mean, when you look at these two colors, they look very milk chocolatey, but they translate totally different. They are more mauve aubergine cool shades which I love. Well, I love warm shades as well, but you know what I mean. With When Goes 05, um, I am going to go to this one, which is called Posh, and just apply it near my inner corner. No, I want it all the way. It's really nice. That's a lovely color. I mean, you could put pop of that gold as well in the middle. Gorgeous. I might take this angle brush and use the darkest color, which is called Grunge. It looks like a very, very dark brown, but it is almost black and just use it as a liner or I might even darken the whole outer V with it got a bit of um, fallout that but that just come that just came off really easily just a bit of that grunge on here and I think I'm done let me just apply mascara and I will be back right so that's the finished look I love it it's beautiful and the mattes blend so so beautifully and easily you know sometimes because of obviously my age my eyelids are not so smooth and taut so sometimes the mattes can be a bit problematic with blending um you know they can skip on your skin but these ones were like blending themselves the shimmers all the shimmers are each shimmer is slightly different finish some are proper pearl some are just straight up shimmers some are toppers a couple of them are duochromes um so yes they don't have any like foiled eye shadows here which i love um, but they are very very beautiful love this palette so this is along the ways of maybe huda rose quartz pat mcgrath divine rose the first one and even natasha denona the retro palette so very similar color story if you want that sort of look um you could go for this palette love it love it so much okay let's try the lip products let me take my gloss off i don't know if i ever tried i think i might have tried um sigma liquid lipstick so we will Try the liquid lipstick first in new mod. Oh, let me swatch it first. Oh, lovely mauve color. And then the lip, lip gloss in Passionate. I like Sigma's lip glosses. The only thing is this one has the brush applicator, which I'm not keen on. I know they've started doing the normal doll foot. So the gloss is very similar color to the, um, oh, it's so rich and gorgeous, beautiful. Right, let's do the lipstick first. Oh, 
Oh, it feels very creamy. One thing I like about liquid lipsticks is that I feel I don't need lip liner because I can draw it with this and then it sets so So this is like a mauve nude, but it looks a bit more pinky than, than the eye. But when it dries, it probably will get a bit darker. Feels very comfortable, still a bit sticky, so let's wait for it to dry. Okay, this is dry now. It's still slightly sticky but it doesn't feel like really dry and crusty. I am not a fan of liquid lipsticks, although I use them, but I will always top them up with um, a gloss. I like them for the same power. So if I'm going out and I've eaten the gloss, at least I, st I have some color left on my lips. Let's top it up with this gorgeous gloss. Oh, that's definitely a bit more purple. That's very nice. I like the combo, the two of them together. Well, what do you think? I love this look. It's so, so nice. I thought I put my pearl clip so it looks, looks more Chanel. <laughs> It's, an, it's not a Chanel clip. <laughs> right, my lovelies, I will do some more looks with this palette in maybe like my five minute eye videos. Uh, so you will see me using this a bit more. I absolutely love it. Let me know what you think of this collection. I think you will love it as well, especially if you are into those mauve aubergine uh, type of pinky um, eyeshadows. Although there is not much pink in here at all. Um, this, even this eyeshadow I put on the top of my eye, it's not like a bright pink, so it's really, really nice. So remember this collection is coming out on the 12th of April. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye!